Hello everyone and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Assassin's Creed Director's Cut with me, Classic Gamer, playing this on the PC of course and without further ado, let's sleep and move on to the final day. Get up! Even earlier than usual, Doc. I'd like to get this over with as quickly as possible. If you say so. Don't be so glum, Mr. Miles. Today is a historic day. One that will be remembered for years to come. Remembered by some of us, anyway. Okay. everyone gone to see the master was it the templars did they attack again they walked the path what path what are you talking about towards the light speak sense there is only what the master shows us this is the truth you've lost your mind you too will walk the path or you will perish so the master commands it was al muallam wasn't it what's he done to you Praise be to the master, for he has led us to the light. Okay, so you get these oddballs going round a little bit. They just seem to say the same things, sort of, you know. So, um... Only speak, master, and show us the path. So they've all been taken over. It doesn't look very colour like for some reason. The will of the master must be obeyed. Yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. 
meant to arrive. So it seems. Guard yourself well, friend. Amwalam has betrayed us. Yes. Betrayed his Templar allies as well. How do you know? After we spoke, I returned to the ruins beneath Solomon's temple. Robert had kept a journal, filled its pages with revelations. What I read there broke my heart. But it also opened my eyes. You were right, Altair. All along, our master has used us. We were not meant to save the Holy Land, but deliver it to him. He must be stopped. Be careful, Malik. What he's done to the others, he'll do to us given the chance. You must stay far from him. What would you propose? My blade arm is still strong and my men remain my own. It would be a mistake not to use us. Distract these thralls then. Assault the fortress from behind. If you can draw their attention away from me, I might reach al -Mualim. I will do as you ask, Dai. The men we face. Their minds are not their own. If you can avoid killing them. Yes. Though he has betrayed the tenets of the Creed, it does not mean we must as well. I'll do what I can. It's all I ask. Safety and peace, my friend. Your presence here will deliver us both. So he's actually become a valued ally in the end of all this. Um, as you know, he was he didn't like us at the start. He blamed us for the death of his brother. And a lot of other things. And we now head back into Maziaf. There are so many innocents. I must be careful not to harm them. And, yeah, we, all the guy people we've killed in the past are now here to get us. Unfortunately, though, these are simply images that Amulin has planted on Altair's mind. They're actually not real. They're, uh, he's hallucinating. Or, you know, images have been planted on, on his... Which is why it's a lot easier. And they don't...
Yes, there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not nine. Oh, I've got the right one. Have you any final words? You lied to me. Called Robert's goal foul, and all along it was yours as well. I've never been much good at sharing. You won't succeed. Others will find the strength to stand against you. And this is why, so long as men maintain free will, there can be no peace. I killed the last man who spoke as such. Bold words, boy. But just words. Then let me go. I'll put words into action. <laughs> Tell me, Master. Why did you not make me like the other assassins? Why allow me to retain my mind? Who you are and what you do are twined too tight together. To rob you of one would have deprived me of the other. Those Templars had to die. But the truth is, I did try. In my study, when I showed you the treasure. But you are not like the others. You saw through the illusion. Illusion? That's all it's ever done. This Templar treasure, this piece of Eden, this word of God. Do you understand now? The Red Sea was never part. Water never turned to wine. It was not the machinations of Iris that spawned the Trojan War, but this! Illusions! All of them! What you plan is no less an illusion. To force men to follow you against their will. Is it any less real than the phantoms the Saracens and Crusaders follow now? Those craven gods who retreat from this world that men might slaughter one another in their names? They live amongst an illusion already. I'm simply giving them another. One that demands less blood. At least they choose these phantoms. Or do they? Aside from the occasional convert or heretic? It isn't right. Ah, and now logic has left you. In its place you embrace emotion. I am disappointed. What's to be done then? You will not follow me, and I cannot compel you. And you refuse to give up this evil scheme. Seems then we are at an impasse. No, we are at an end. I will miss you, Altair. You were my very best student. Right, at this point... If you get hit by him, you will die. Instantly. Find the asshole. My blade sees for me, I'm one. It cuts to the darkness. Rather a mad laugh, don't you think?
No, you can't use that on him. Get up! Get up! Oh, for fuck's sake, get up out of here! See, that was a point where if you get hit, you die. And I didn't actually realise that. You can use stealth kills to create a distraction by throwing a knife, pushing somebody off a roof. Blind, Blind is all you've ever been. All you'll ever be. Get up, out of here! <laughs> yes, as you can see, this is basically the screen we see as if we were about to uh, desynchronize. If you get touched by him, you will die. And I think the way they did this with him being the bad guy, I think it was rather clever. And I like the fact they did that. I think it was a a great move to do and I highly approve of it. It was one I certainly didn't see coming. Get up! Gotcha, bitch! And what he spoke there, at that point, um, in Arabic, was nothing is true, everything is permitted. At least, that's what I remember a guy who I watched an LP on said that that is actually what he says.
they are actually the um, shards that you have. I think you get in the other games, if I remember rightly. Um, if we look on the map there, you can see there's one in the UK. Not where London is, but soon enough. There's one in um, Italy, there's one in Paris. Well, not one in Paris. One in Italy, one in France. some amount of decay. I can't imagine they'll all still be functioning. At least two appear to reside on land masses that no longer exist. We'll dispatch teams to each site and determine viability. We only need one, after all. What about the rest? Collect them. Let's not leave anything to chance. Last thing we need is some damn survivor making trouble for us in the new world. And the assassin? We have what we need. Kill him. Wait. You know how these things work. I doubt we'll be able to walk right in. What's your point? We might need him. His memories. I'd recommend we hold him until we have confirmation that there aren't any surprises waiting for us at the sites. This is a waste of time. You said it yourself. We shouldn't leave anything to chance. Very well. Ensure we have no further need of him, then kill him. Fine. Stop undermining my authority! I just saved your ass. Let's go. We've got a lot of work to do. Don't get too comfortable, Mr. Miles. We'll be back for you soon enough. What the hell is that? Hmm. Symbols. And if we have a look around the room here before we actually finish the game there's actually a code somewhere you can actually get into the conference room for the first time in like the whole game Unfortunately, I don't know how you get the code. Can't walk, run round this place, unfortunately. Unfortunately, though, I can't figure out how to do this, so I'm not going to worry about it. There's not really much on that particular uh, computer, and um, it doesn't really matter too much. You, you're not getting anything extra out of the story. But if we go back in our bedroom. Oh my god. It looks like. Is that blood? Who the hell were they keeping here before me? And what happened to him? What does it mean, I wonder? 
rather abrupt ending, don't you think? But that is the end of Assassin's Creed Director's Cut on the PC. Um, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> it was great getting back into the original Assassin's Creed. It started the whole thing. And with this talk about this Empires, Assassin's Creed Empires, with it being set before this game, oh, that is just super, super exciting. Maybe we might even get a little bit of a return of Desmond, maybe. I don't know. But for now, guys, I'm going to thank you all very much for watching. Now that I've finished this, I'm now, this is now out of the way. I can now start a new LP that I've been wanting to start now for a while. I'll finally be able to get to the end of this, which I'm really pleased about. We've done it in a, in a, a good amount of parts. I'm happy with the amount of parts it's taken. Just under 30 parts, which is pretty good going considering and yeah so I'll leave I'll let you enjoy the rest of the credits and I'll see you in the next LP Alright guys, just a quick, uh, very quickly, um, you can see now we're actually back in the game itself and this is just setting up about the fact that you can actually come back out here and I believe you can go back in the Animus. I'm not sure what happens, but let's have a look. Can't continue. Um. 
So not all of these are actually synced up properly. There's, a, there's quite a lot that isn't. Um, but we're not going to do that as, you know, there's no real uh, need to. So um, I just thought, you know, you can go back if you wish and and finish off anything you have missed. Um, I won't be doing that because there's, there's no sort of, like, um, reward or anything like that. Uh that gives you anything. There's not. There's nothing really that. It doesn't really give you anything. Is there? Any, is there? So guys, um, thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you in another LP. Tata for now.